Welcome back to the world of physics. Now you must admit, physics is the easiest subject on earth, right? And today we are going to study on electricity and we are going to learn and relearn how we calculate our electricity bill. Something of interest to all of us because we need to pay our bills. And I'm very sure that this morning you are going to relearn something and now, okay, you will spend the next few minutes learning something and relearning something about the electricity bill. And once again, in the SPM physics, to understand it well, to progress, to improve, you will have to keep on answering a lot of questions, writing definitions, writing down the formula, the quantities, keep on rehearsing and you will do well. At the end of this lesson, you are going to relearn and you should be able to calculate your electricity bill. You will know how much you have to pay for the amount of electricity or the electrical energy that you have used. And we will take one of the examination questions to see and uh, look at this concept and see how it works. All right, this is the question. The table shows the electrical energy consumption tariff. Electrical units, if a person uses just 200 units or below, he will have to pay 22 cents per unit. And after that, the next 500 units, he will have to pay 25 cents per unit. So that is the going rate for a certain electricity company. Calculate the cost in Ringgit, Malaysia of using a 1.5 kilowatt refrigerator for 360 hours. So this is a standard concept, a standard question, very popular. The concept is very easy, but we need to understand a few parts. Let us go through it one by one. So the question is very clear. All right. Now, we will do it step by step. The first thing is, we look at the word unit. We will ask the question, what do we mean by a unit? All right. Look at this. Electrical units. One unit of electricity. When we say one unit, what does it mean? When we say one durian, we understand, right? So, one unit of electricity, what does it mean? One unit is defined as one unit of electricity is defined as one kilowatt hour. All right, I will use the same term as in the table. One electrical unit is equal to one kilowatt hour. Now, this is the most important concept that we have to establish once and for all. One unit of electricity is equal to one kilowatt hour. So what does one kilowatt hour mean? It simply means this. If I were to use a one kilowatt gadget, for example, let's say a guitar amplifier, and I use it for one hour, So what do I have? 1 times 1, I have 1. Kilowatt times hour, I have kilowatt hour. So 1 kilowatt hour will be equal to 1 unit of electricity. Alright, so that is the meaning of it. So once we have got this, we can come back to the question and we will tackle the question now. Alright, so... Uh, Let's continue. 1.5 kilowatt hours, 360 hours. Okay. So what we will write down here is this. Now what is the electrical or electric energy that is being used in this case? I have 1.5 kilowatt. That is the gadget, the power of the gadget. 1.5 kilowatt. And I use it for 360 hours. 
all right 360 hours okay we will just use h to make things more standardized so 1.5 times 360 what would i get i will get 540 kilowatt hours i know some of you must be saying you said teacher why is it that you write down energy you mean kilowatt hour is energy it is just a little bit of revision i'll put it here do you remember that power is equals to energy divided by time all right so energy is given by energy what will it give me it will give me power multiplied by time get it so now what do i have power 1.5 kilowatt is actually power all right 1.5 kilowatt hour sorry 1.5 kilowatt is power and i multiplied by time all right time here 360 hours it's just that we are using a bigger unit this is to make it easy for payment easy for calculations all right so allow me to erase this so that it is neater okay so in other words electric energy that is being used what is the number of units it is 540 units So after this, it is very mathematical. It is just calculation of the uh, dollars and cents, so to speak. All right. So step by step, look at the question again. It says first 200 units, 22 cents per unit. First 200 units, 22 cents per unit. The next 500 units, 25 cents per unit. So in other words, now I've got to calculate the first 200 units. All right, I write down first 200 units. All right, so what is the cost? Cost of the first 200 units of electricity will be equal to 200 units multiplied by 22 cent per unit all right 22 cent per unit now i would like to encourage all of you to write it down the way i write it the reason is once you write it this way i cancel the units what do i have i have my answer in cent all right so i have 22 times 2 is 44, 0, 0 cent. And this is equal to ringgit Malaysia, 44 ringgit. So that is my first step. Alright, let's go on to the second step now. It's very simple. Alright. Now the second step is, I write down the next, okay. I have used up 540 units. First 200 units. What is the balance? The next 340 kilowatt hour or 340 units of electricity that is being used. Okay. So what do I do? I write down what is the cost? The cost of the next 340 units of electricity used. Write down again, 340 units, I multiplied by 25 cents per unit. 25 cents per unit. Alright, again, I cancel out the unit. Use the calculators, what do you get? Alright, you will have 85 ringgit. Okay, let me highlight this. First one is 44 ringgit, second one is 85 ringgit, okay? So what is your bill? Okay, remember, we are calculating our electricity bill, 
today. All right. So what is the total? All right. So therefore, what is the total cost of the electric uh, electricity electricity used? Okay. So the total would be forty four ringgit plus eighty five ringgit. Okay. So this would give. Oh, it's not giving. We have to pay. Not giving. All right. So this would mean that we pay altogether one hundred and twenty nine ringgit. One two nine ringgit Malaysia. All right. So it's very simple, very straightforward. Just follow the rules and do your mathematics uh, carefully. And remember, one unit is equal to one kilowatt hour. So this is a very simple lesson indeed, but very important for all of us. So once again, go back, look for other questions that are similar. Do your calculations. All right. Keep on writing. Keep on answering questions, and you will do well. All right. And with this. Once again, I would like to say thank you very much once again and may God bless you and I will see you again the next time round.